Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make really simple, fast and easy these earrings that are so elegant and you could put them on in any occasion and give it as presents as well. Also they are really fast to make. If you're new here consider subscribing for more absolutely free tutorials like this. You will be inspired often. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is an amazing support. I can't thank you enough for these actions. Down there in description you will find a lot of useful resources and you also might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. So now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are 11 seed beads in silver color. I'm also using rondelles 4 by 6 millimeters. These are 6 millimeters pearls. Earring finding sliver bags. You could use others of your choice. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size of monofilament or other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use 11 or 12 to be easier for you. And by the way, down there in description, I shared all the supplies that you need. I also have other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could post your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and there are links in description. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I'm going to take in my first step are 16 of those beautiful silver beads. Okay, and I have here 4 times 4 which is 16 and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and how I make my knot, I make here a loop, I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull really gently like this. Then what I want to do is to make one more knot. Okay, just to be sure that it's all tight and secure. Then I go through some beads in this direction. And in my next step, guys, I'm going to pick up five silver beads. Okay, and I have my five here on my needle. And what I'm going to do is go through this bead that I'm exiting out of backwards like this and in circle. Okay, now I have this. Then in my next step, I'm going through two beads in this direction. Okay, this is what I do. Okay. Taking again five beads. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going back through this bead and through the following two just to save time. Just to save one movement, I'm directly going through this bead and I'm making a loop, then through the next two. So three in at once. Okay, five again. And I go and I do the same thing. Go backwards through this one and through the following two. Then again. Okay, and I'll do this four more times and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and when I did this thing three more times, I'm here in a position where I need to add my last five beads from this row. Then 
Now I'm exiting through this bead, which is between those two loops of beads in the center here, this one. And what I want to do is go here through these two beads in this direction. Okay. And I take two seed beads, a rondelle and two seed beads. And I go here, skip this one that's sticking out the most, the middle of the five beads that I added in my previous row. And I go like this. Okay, now this is what I have. In my next step, I want to go here through the second silver one counting from the center, you see where I'm going. And in this way, I'm exiting again next to the one that is sticking out the most, which is this one. Okay, my thread is here if you don't see it. I have this sequence. Skip the one that's sticking out the most and go through the following. And if you can, in one movement, also through the second silver counting from the center. And I'm exiting out of the same place here. Here, this one. I take two seed beads, a rondelle and two seed beads. Skip this one. And go like this in the same manner. I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Again, two seed beads, rondelle, two seed beads. And now I will do this the same way until the end of this row. If you forget how I'm doing something, just rewind the video and repeat these four steps from here and meet me. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And I go here, guys, and I also go again through the second silver bead counting from the center. Okay. And now, before I continue in this direction, I want to go back and add my pearl in the center. Okay. I'm going like this. Then I'm going like this. Then what I want to do is go here in the center. Okay. And I'm going to take just one of the pearls. Okay, this one. And as I'm exiting here, I want to go in the opposite bead of my circle. Okay, my thread is pointing in this direction and I'm going in the same direction. And I'm adding my pearl here. Then what I want to do is go one more time through this pearl. And in order to do this, I'm going around this circle of beads. And I'm aiming again for the hole of my pearl. Okay, here is my hole. I'm going one more time through it. Okay, I'm here at this inner seed bead and what I want to do is go here in this direction and exit through all of those four silver beads next to my rondelle. Okay. Now, as I'm here, guys, I'm going to pick up seven of these beautiful silver beads. And as I'm exiting from here, I'm going in the next silver, just like this. OK. 
okay then in my next step I go in the last silver here next to my rondelle I take seven again okay seven and go around my rondelle and just to save time I'm also going through the following silver bead here which is next to the following rondelle okay then I'm going to take seven again go around the rondelle and through the next two silver beads here you see where I'm going okay I'll show you one more time seven okay now I, I'll do this four more times and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last seven beads and then again I go here through this silver and this silver and as I'm exiting here I want to pop up the central bead here and how I do this in this case I need to go through four beads then I'm not going through this central seed bead and I will go through the next three okay now this is what I have I'm popping up the center and then here I want to add one bead go through three beads skip the one that's on my way and then go through three more seed beads and when I pull you see I'm popping out this central bead and making an angle here then again I'm going to take one silver then I go here through these three beads three of the seven that I added in my previous row then I skip one and go through the next three in this way I'm popping out a little bit this central one here and I'm taking one then again what I want to do is add this one and go through three beads in this direction and now skip the one that's on my way and I go through three and I pull and I'm going to continue this guys add here one and go through three skip the center go through three again and add one and i will continue this and meet you here at the end okay and here i am guys where i'm adding my last bead here at the angle to connect my petals okay now it's time to add my earring finding and I want to add it here at this bit that is sticking out the most but pay attention how you add it because this earring has a front and a back you see the pearl and the rondelles pop out from this side and look like this from this side whichever si side you like better you could make it the front of your work I like this side with a popping up effect better that is why I'm going to make this the front of my work and uh, what I'm going to pick up next are two seed beads my earring finding and two more silver seed beads 
and I'm going back in circle through this bead here at the top. Then in my next step, I want to reinforce it. by going one more time here through this or you could do two times if you want then I go here at the angle and I want to make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this make here a loop go once go second time through this loop I've made make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull then I go through some beads in this direction and you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go through the following seed beads and then cut your thread as close as possible to your work and now guys my super easy and simple elegant earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more absolutely free tutorials like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't thank to all of you that like share and comment this is an amazing support i can't thank you enough for these actions you could check description for a lot of useful resources and list of description and also a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. A lot of work goes in these videos so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member also links in description and the last one comes with great perks that you could check out. Thank you so much for watching bye bye from me.